We have ignition. We have liftoff. Decades of launching rockets and satellites into space have produced the daunting challenge of tracking hundreds of thousands of pieces of space junk that are orbiting the Earth. There is a very real and costly danger of valuable satellites colliding with each other or with pieces of space junk, as the destruction of the Iridium communications satellite in 2009 highlighted. Even the International Space Station has to carry out several avoidance manoeuvres every year. While originally designed to receive signals from the distant universe shortly after the Big Bang, the Murchison Wide Field Array in Western Australia, with its large field of view and high sensitivity, can help us out and potentially save us billions of dollars by detecting and tracking hundreds of pieces of space junk every day. I'm Professor Stephen Tingay, the Director of the MWA at Curtin University. I'm also a member of the Centre for All Sky Astrophysics, CASTRO, and the lead author on a recent publication that demonstrates how the capabilities of this next generation radio telescope can contribute to global efforts in space situational awareness. Last year, Castro PhD student Ben McKinley found that he could use the MWA to observe and image the moon using TV and radio broadcasts reflected off the face of the moon. This led me to think that the MWA may be capable of imaging smaller and less predictable objects using the same technique. Transmitters not only send radio waves over land, but also into space, where they bounce off objects such as the Moon, the International Space Station, satellites and pieces of space junk. As the waves get reflected, some of the signal also travels back to Earth. The MWA is so sensitive that we can detect these reflected signals, even from objects that are smaller than a metre, at distances up to a thousand kilometres as our calculations and simulations have shown. And because the telescope has such a large field of view, monitoring vast patches of the sky at any given time, we can simultaneously image hundreds of these objects every day and track them for long enough to determine their orbits. This capability of the MWA has led to collaborations with existing surveys and instruments that are dedicated to track individual pieces of space junk. We can do all this at the same time as our primary mission, that is, to look way back into cosmic time.